Hello everybody, Ian here with Intella Homes, and it's been a little bit, but uh, just had a little, a few busy weeks here, also waiting on some packages to come in, and we finally got one. We, this is actually the second one coming in, and I wanted to take a moment and share with you and show you uh, what the first product is that I've been working on. So give me a second here, I'm going to open this, and I'll show you what I've got. That's interesting. I uh, open this and look gift just for you. I know there was something they had mentioned about adding something additional in it and I wasn't sure what it is and yeah already I can tell you this one's a lot better than the first one was. As you can see here this says smart switch on the front. Let me see if I can get this open without tearing that package. There we go. Ooh. smart switch so the first item I wanted to work on was lighting the one of the biggest things that I noticed that I have problems with in my own personal house and that a lot of people do as well is operating lighting it's always the first thing we think of when it comes to creating a house that works for us lights that turn off uh, in the morning or at night time when it's time to go to bed uh, you know, you go get a snack, you're watching a movie, you forget to turn off the kitchen light, and you have to get back up, go turn off the light. You get in bed, you forget to turn off a light. Or uh, one of my favorite times that I have set up right now is the ability to turn on lights when the sun sets. So like in the evening time, I will have my front porch lights turn on automatically for me, and they're at a certain brightness. And then as the evening goes on, instead of keeping these really, really bright lights that disturb my neighbors, they actually dim um, a little bit more at nighttime. And then I have the ability that I can create, basically make motion activated lights, so they'll turn on again if like my cameras notice motion or something. But one of the most difficult things to do and the irritating things to do is the fact that when you have multiple lights, like I have four exterior lights, it's a different light bulb for each one. Or everything gets put on one switch. And I wanted to create a switch that wasn't a, like a push button. I wanted to create something a little bit more intuitive, uh, something that's a little bit more something we're used to utilizing. And so uh, these were the first samples I got. I have one here and can't really show, uh, uh, yeah, you can't really see it. Um, it's back behind me there. I already have the first sample I got and uh, I installed it. I'm not too sure how I felt about that one. Uh, this one already tell, feels better to me. It's heavier. That one was super, super light. And the idea behind it was, like I said, it's an intuitive light switch. So when you walk into the room, you tap it, it turns on, you swipe up, the light brightens, you swipe down, the bright, the light darkens um, or dims. You can double tap it or triple tap it or whatever it is, and it will do certain things for you. So um, if you walk into a room and it remembers what your brightness setting was, or maybe you only want it to turn to 25% brightness, you can double tap it and it automatically knows through your settings that you wanted 25% brightness. So this is the first product I really want to work on here um, and design to work, as I said. It's simple, it's easy to use, and my biggest thing is that it's intuitive. We know how to use it and you know how to use it without fancy instructions. It's just, it works how a light switch should work. Also, I will say, and this plastic is one of my favorite things to do. That's fun. Sticking to me is a tempered glass front. Look, you can see my phone reflecting in there. Um, right now it has buttons on it. It's not really a button, it's just a, it's like a tap thing right there. And actually, uh, there it is. Let's have to pull this one off. Oof, not gonna figure it out. I don't wanna break it right now. Um, yeah, so I'll spend a little bit more time playing with this one. I'll show you guys a little bit more as to what's up next. Uh, again, please like this, share this and uh, with a friend. And uh, let me know what you think. What? Let me know what you would like to see or what you think how these would work. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.